All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be executing our server.py file and the client.py file locally on our computer. But before we start to execute both of them, let's actually first change the IP address of this host. So because this host IP address is actually just my local computer's private IP address, so it's dynamic. That is, every time I restart my computer, this IP address is going to change. So let me just go to my command prompt and type it ipconfig and then I'll just scroll up to my Wi-Fi adapter which I'm using to connect to the internet and this is my new IP address. So let me just minimize it and change this to 192.107. Now that we have updated the IP address, let's go back to our server.py file and right click on it and execute our server. It says binding the port double line double line. So now our server is actually running and waiting for the client.py file to connect. Now this server.py file is actually going to be going on a server uh, and more accurately our digital ocean server which we are actually going to be creating in the next video but more about it later. So for now we have executed our server.py file and it's it has binded the port and it is waiting for some client to connect. So we'll go to our client.py file and we are going to right click on it and click on run client. Now that we have clicked on run client, it has got connected to our server. How do we know that? We'll go back to our server file and as you can see, it says connection has been established then the IP address and the port. Now that the connection has been established, we can type in any kind of command and it's going to execute them on the client's computer. So for example, if we just type in dir, it's going to show us an output of the kind of folders that are in the client's computer and for example let's type in another command so another command can be a so another command can be something like echo hey and press enter and it's going to print us a hey and then the working directory of our client's computer and it's also going to print hey on a client's computer so what is actually happening behind the scenes when you type in echo hey so what happens is it first goes to the server file and when we execute the server.py file for the first time, it creates a socket, then it binds the socket and then it starts listening for connections using this s.listen function. And that is the state where it says basically binding the port. Then it waits for the client.py file to connect to it. And whenever when we execute this client.py file, it creates a socket and uses the host and port to connect to our server.py file. When it has connected, it goes to the socket accept function, it accepts the connection and prints out the connection has been established statement and prints out the IP address and the port, which is what is happening in this statement. After this, it goes to the send command function and whenever we type in something like dir, it sends this instruction to our client.py file. In our client.py file, it receives and it checks whether it's cd or not if it's not cd then it goes to this if statement where it executes for example if we type in dir then it executes this statement using subprocess.p open then it outputs the then it takes the output and basically sends it back to our server.py file where in our server.py file we print the client response we first get the output from client.py and then we store it in the variable of client response and then we print it on a server.py. After printing it on server.py, we also print it on the client's computer. And apart from that, we are also printing the current working directory and that is what is printing at the last. So whenever we type in echo hey, this command is being typed on server.py but the output that we are receiving back is from client.py file. And then this is the current working directory that we are showing on the server.py file, but it is being received from our client.py file that is from a client. Now, if you are having any kind of trouble understanding what is happening, do one thing that take your friend's laptop or something and move this client.py file from your computer to your friend's computer. Make sure that the IP address is updated and you don't restart your computer until the connection has happened. So copy this client.py file to your friend's computer and then execute this server.py file on your computer. And when this client.py file is executed on your friend's computer, it's going to be connected to your server.py file. And then you can do all of these cool stuff to your friend's computer. For example, finding out the directory or maybe changing the directory. So for example, right now we are in the reverse shell directory. So if we type in cd dot dot and press enter, it's going to show us that we have moved a directory 
below reverse shell on a client's computer so you can just test this out on your friend's computer and your computer and kind of do it together but in the next video we are actually going to be uploading this server.py file to a server and this client.py file will have a static ip address so you won't have to worry about restarting your computer and stuff like that so this is what we are going to be tackling in the next video and this is pretty much it for this video hope you understood everything properly if you have any queries you can obviously uh, post them anytime in our discussion board and i'll make sure that i answer every single one of them as quickly as i can so anyways i'll see you in the next video